What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Carolina David, coming at you again with another video. Um, I want to take this time and I want to apologize for being away for so long because it's been about a week. I've been having some things I had to take care of, but I'm back and back at it like I never left. I want y'all to take this time right now and hit the like, share, and subscribe. And if y'all disagree with anything that I say, you can email me at carolinadavid911 at gmail.com or leave a uh, comment in the comment section and say, I want to talk and I'll bring you on. We can talk. Anyway, let's get into it. This right here is about to probably uh, bring up some daggone controversy and people about to go crazy, but it is what it is. The topic of this video is going to be, why do you try to impose on us your beliefs? Let's get it. Let's talk with Carolina David. Let's talk with Carolina David. Okay, I've seen some uh, um, a few videos on TikTok, and it's dealing with homosexuality. And first off, I don't have no problems with those who are homosexual. If you're homosexual, I'm going to say I don't have any problems with LGBT plus community. As long as you don't try to impose it on me, we're good. You do your thing. I don't have a problem. But I seen these videos on TikTok and I just want to play it and then give understanding and understanding and enlightenment of what's going on and try to try to bring revelation to this topic right here. Let's get it. You've probably picked up on this by now, but one of my biggest pet peeves is when people use science that they don't understand to try to justify their stupidity and hate. First and foremost, you just said something that don't set too well with me and don't set too well according to the word of God. You said you hate when people try to use science that they don't understand. Key word, science. Science goes against everything that the word of God says. Like, I don't care what you try to throw out there. Science and the word of God do not line up. Science is basically its own God. That's the first thing, right, that we, like, science is, is baloney. But let's continue. And this week, I've been told on three separate occasions that homosexuality is wrong because it's unnatural. I'm a biologist, and no, it is not. Are you serious? Homosexual, you're a biologist, and homosexual is not wrong, and is not unnatural. So that means it's natural. Now, I'm going to just continue. In fact, we've observed homosexual behavior in over 1,500 different animal species. We've seen gay lions and gay dolphins and gay hedgehogs and gay birds and gay fish and even gay insects. In fact, one of our closest living animal relatives, the bonobos, 100% bisexual, across the board. But the fact of the matter is, we don't have a lot of data on how homosexuality works, especially from like an evolutionary perspective. But we have strong evidence that there's a big genetic component to it. And even without that, a behavior that's this ubiquitous across the animal kingdom is clearly of some great ecological importance. So don't throw around words like unnatural when nature itself is proving you wrong. All right. First and foremost, my brother. You trying to compare humans to animals. You're trying to compare humans to species that is not mentally aware like humans are. One thing, the difference between animals and humans, animals, they, they purely act off of instinct, whereas humans, we act off of emotions. We use both of, we use all of our, well, 
not all of our, we only use right side of our brain. And we act off emotions, feelings, instincts, and, and everything of, of the sort. You cannot compare animals to, to uh, humans. Because animals are basically like, animals are basically oblivious to homosexuality. So if you say, and you mentioned the bonobos, you said that they are our closest relative. But when you look at, it was a documentary that I watched where it spoke of the bonobos, where the guy was trying to find homosexuality in animals. And he went to the zoo where the bonobos were because he said that he heard that it was uh, hi hyper activity of homosexuality in those animals. But even the guy said in the, in the video, he said, this is purely off of excitement. Basically, around the time of feeding time or whatever, or when they come to the cages. So, with that saying, like just like dogs, whenever a dog sense that their owner or master or someone is coming to the house, what do they do? They go crazy. They run around in circles, jump up and down in the air. And sometimes the dog, even uh, a male dog, uh, he starts to get... Uh, Hor I mean, not horny, but his his dog the pink things start coming out. Are you saying that that dog is gay? Are you saying that that dog now wants to have sex with a human, or is it off of his uh, off his uh, uh, emotion, uh, the instinct that I'm happy my owner is here? Same thing with the bonobos when they got excited, when they get excited and food feeding time or whatever. That's when the "Quote unquote homosexuality, the homosexual uh, act happened, not any other time. So, for one, science out the door. You cannot compare humans to animals because they don't know what they're doing. They are like it's only excitement, or it's only when they when they have uh, the emotion of excitement and all that stuff coming out." Not and not just hey, hey, you male lion, let me come up behind you and give you some of this male penis. It ain't nothing like that. It's just that he they, they get excited, they might or they just act off of their instinct. They don't know what the hell's going on. But anyway, let's continue to this next video. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you. mentioned a time earlier. So we acknowledge that gender is assigned at birth. People assume that they are male or female. Right. right? And that naturally, right. God says you're going to be this, that, or the other. But the the realistic. This dude said that you're assigned a gender at birth. Like, they assume that they're this. You're that. I'm like, when my son came out of his mother's womb and I looked upon him, I saw a, pe a penis. I saw a male object between his legs. And and I knew right then, this is a boy. Why? Because we boys have penises, while girls have vaginas. It's as simple as that. Like, where are we going here? The realistic thing that happens is that when babies are born, my sister just delivered twins. Shout out to them, Jackson Jet. <laughs> when right, babies are born, the it. doctor assigns birth. They pull out instruments. They make educated guesses. They pull out instruments. Doctors pull out instruments and make educated guesses. So you mean to tell me if I, if I, if a baby come right now and I'm, I pull them out the womb, boom, that I got to pull out a comb, a daggone ruler, measuring tape and all that stuff to see if this is a boy. To see if that baby's a boy or a girl. What the hell are you talking about? They use instruments. It ain't no instruments unless you're talking about the fact of delivering a baby. Then, yeah, they might use instruments like something to open up the uh, the, the, uh, the womb uh, C-section or whatever the case may be, but to figure out what the sex of that baby is, there's no instrument needed. All you need is your eyes. Right. Like and sometimes while babies are in utero, this changes. There are times where a doctor cannot actually make an assignment. And those people are called intersex. To your point, it used to be the term that w that people used to call hermaphrodites. Right? right. And so if you. OK. He said that there are times where they can't make 
uh, an assignment. When like it's called intersex, the term they used to use were hermaphrodites. Now I Google hermaphrodite. I Google in, in, uh, intersex, and if you look at the definition of these two, you would see that one. If you look at the definition, it tells you that basically you got the genitals, which is a boy, the balls, and whatever. Then you got the chromosome, which is a gene that's in your DNA. And then you have this uh, other word right here. Uh, what is it? I can't I can't get the, the word right now. But then you have this other thing that is in both male and female. It's just that with the male, it's our testicles. It's our balls. With the females, it's the eggs with the reproduce. It's a, it's a reproductive organ. Come on, man. And then when you look at hermaphrodites, let's be honest. Most hermaphrodites that I've seen, they have breasts. And then when you look between that, like the, the pictures that I've seen, like I'm going to put one up right now. And if you look at it, it just looked like a woman with a big clit. Like you don't see balls because like, let's be honest. What makes a male? A penis and balls. Right? So, therefore, if I don't see, at least, we know the butthole, because every, every, every baddie got, got a butthole because we got a doo-doo. But if I don't see a vagina, balls, and a penis on this person, this one person, all together now, then how can we say it's intersex? Or how can we say uh, uh, that it's a, a hermaphrodite just because Something looks ab abnormal. Like you might see a baby come out with a clit that's bigger than normal. How can we sit here and say that that's that's a hermaphrodite? Show me the balls. If you see balls, and then a, 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 and then that, we got something there. Because what the difference between a clit and a penis? Even on babies, the penis is gonna be it. It, it look like a, almost like a mushroom at the top. At the head of it, it looks almost like a mushroom. But then, when you look at a clip, it somewhat has the formality of just like a stem with a almost like a little mushroom at the top. But it's the clip, though. We know what clitoris look like. Like they might just have it look. It looks like a person with a big clip to me. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, if you show me one that got balls, a vagina. And a penis, then I agree. Hey, we got hermaphrodites. But at this point in time, of my 32 years of living, of living I haven't seen it yet. You identify with the gender that you were assigned at birth, your cis. Yes. Right. And to Malik's point, scientifically, it means you're on the same side. If you do not agree because a doctor made a decision based on whatever that doctor was doing at that time, that that is how you identify yourself, how you make sense of your sexual identity, gender rotation, or expression, you are trans. Now, hold on, wait a minute. Now I get to understand from, from this, you know, gay man, because I always wonder, what the world does cis mean? Like, why do y'all call straight people cis and then gay people uh, and trans, like trans, like, it, but now I have understanding. So you mean to tell me that just because I see myself as a male because I got the facial hair, I got the mustache, I got a penis and balls that I'm cis because I agree uh, I agree with the doctors. No, I agree with what I see. I agree with what I know. I am a male. I don't agree with the doctors. I agree with myself. I'm a man. Just like if a woman agrees with herself because she sees herself with breasts, a vagina, and she said, I'm a woman. Because she has, she can have babies. That don't mean sis, bro. Stop making y'all need to stop making up these dang old terminologies to fit y'all criteria. Because it's almost like y'all trying to force an ideology upon us that don't make sense. It's stupid. Because, like, for one, if you look at most homosexuals, most homosexuals. Be, become homosexuals because of trauma in their life that happened in the past, whether it be um, 
molestation, child molestation from the, the a family member, child molestation from teachers, or so on and so forth. Or it could be the fact that the boy, a boy, might have grew up with all females, no ma no male testosterone around, no male guidance around, and all he see is his mother. All he see is his grandmother. So now, with children, because we, I, and the reason why I'm speaking like this, because I see it within my own child. With children, they model after their parents. So if they only see one parent, who do you think they're going to act like? That parent. Matter of fact, myself. I act like my mother. The reason I act like when I, I have to give the gap, like my mother. Like, I sometimes even when I talk, my when I get excited about what I'm speaking, I get loud like my mother because I've been around. That's all I've been around. That's all I saw was my mom. I had my uncles and everybody around too to play ball with and whatever. That's the reason why I had that basically, in a sense, guidance to where I could have I, I, I turned out to be what I am. But my mother, I have my actions of my mother because I didn't have my father in my life. So if you look at homosexuals, lesbians, and whatever the case may be, the reason why they feel that they, that way is because of trauma, something traumatic happened in their life. A woman might, a, a little girl might have been molested or raped by a male to where now she don't like males no more because of that trauma that happened in her life. Same thing with with uh, with fe uh, with males to females. They might have got a molested and don't like females, or he might got molested by a male and he probably kept getting molested by males and getting uh, raped by males to where he think like, man, maybe I'm a woman. Maybe I'm supposed to be a woman or something. Trauma happens. So to give y'all understanding, because we're going to go to scripture right now. For you, this person to sit here and say that it's uh, normal homosexuality, I'm about to go to the scripture and show you how it is not normal. We're going to go to Romans and we're going to start at chapter one, verse 21. And it reads, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their own imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. So that lets you know right there that even though they knew God, because you got people today, they know God. They know of God. They know that there's a higher power amongst us all. But instead of worshiping and glorifying the most high God, they go to their own vain imagination and their own thoughts and their own wicked ways and do what they do. All right. And and, and, and it also, like it says right here, and their foolish heart was darkened. So that means that their heart, their mind foolishly was darkened because they don't have no understanding. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. You look at the videos. The one with the, with the biologist professing to be wise. He's educated. He, hey, I'm, a, I'm an educated man. I'm a professor. You're a fool because you don't have understanding of, of the word. You don't even have understanding of life. And just like the other brother that was talking about the doctor instruments and all that stuff, he's talking as though he's wise, but without understanding, his heart and his mind is foolish. Let's continue. Verse 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. That goes back to that brother that was a biologist, one part, and another part, because he, he looked at the animals and said, we can look at the animals. It's just mentioned the birds, four-footed beasts, and creeping things, animals. And to the other part, when it says to take an un uncorruptible God and make it corruptible, let's look at the, let's look at the rainbow that comes across the sky. That is an uncorruptible thing because that rainbow symbolizes a promise to the people. That rainbow is actually around the throne of God. So that means that it is an uncorruptible 
object. It is an uncorruptible sign. But what do man take rainbows to be? LGBT plus, home, uh, the gay community or whatever. You took that what was uncorruptible and made it corruptible like unto man. Let's continue. Verse 24. Wherefore God get also gave them up, un up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So that man said that you don't have we don't have understanding or whatever like that. That it's natural to be gay. But you just see her right then that you're going to your own lust. That you are now being gay because of your own lust. Let's read the scripture again. It says, wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through their own lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. That's what you're doing. Verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Please answer me that question. Who changed the truth of God, which let's get back to boy and girl coming out of the womb. You see a penis and balls, a boy. You see a vagina girl. Who changed that to be a lie to where they say, well, I was born in the wrong body. I'm supposed to be a female. I'm not supposed to be a male because I was born in the wrong body. Who made that bull crap up? Who made, who changed, who changed the truth of God into a lie? And, and it says, verse continue, it says, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever, amen. The creature, us. The creator, God. We worship ourselves more than we worship the most high God. That's what we do. Who changed the, the truth of God into a lie? Verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For, in, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. <laughs> hey, you biologist. You biologist. Did you hear that? Let me read it again. It says, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which was that which is against nature. Nature tells us and nature shows us that it is male to female. Point blank period. That's the reason why God said in the beginning go forth and be fruitful and multiply. Male to female. Show me where a male and a male can make a baby. Even if you take your dag on and you go through the surgery, get your balls cut off and everything and make you a, a vagina. Show me where them, that damn man had a baby. You can't see it. You don't see it. But why? Because it's not natural. It don't suppose to happen. But guess what science trying to do, though? They trying to make it to where a man can have a womb. They're trying to reconstruct a man's body to where he can not have a baby. But guess what? I declare that you're going to fail in the name of Jesus Christ because you can't take God and, and what God did and you can't change it. You can't change a male and make a womb. You're not going to do it. I declare and decree right now in the name of Jesus that you're not going to do it. You're not going to succeed. Let's continue. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of a woman, of the woman, natural use of the woman, which means having sexual intercourse, burned in their own lust one to another. So by you leaving the natural use of a woman, sexual intercourse and burning your own lust which means that your mind now wonders have you ever heard of that saying curiosity kills the cat that's what burning your own lust is because you're curious because of what you see of your own self you wonder 
men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. So that let you know that man being with man, that they're going to face their own recompense of their error, and it's wrong. It's not right. Stop sitting here and try to impose on children and impose on people and say that it's right. Just keep your beliefs to yourself. Like, I mean, it, within your community, don't try to come up upon me and be like, you are, you are a, a homophobe. <laughs> you don't like gays. You are a homophobe. You homophobic. No, I'm not because I'm not afraid of you. A phobia is de uh, dealing with fear. And I don't fear none of you. I love you all as, as human beings, but just don't try to, imp to impose on me and make your thoughts my thoughts because it's not going to happen. Let's continue. Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which is not convenient. I'm going to stop right now because it, it, if you want to know more, just read it for yourself because it breaks it down out of uncleanliness and all that stuff. But anyway, you don't want to retain God in your knowledge. Why? Because to retain God in your knowledge, that means that you you will have to give up the ways that you're doing. But you don't want to give up the ways that you're doing. You want to make the ways that you're doing to make it right. That's the reason why they even created uh, a Queen James Bible to try to take the word homosexual out and whatever like that to not offend the home, uh, the LGD, LGBT community, whatever community. Just put it like I'm gonna put it like this. For example, I'm gonna use me. If I know that uh, adultery is against God, but I am adulterer. Uh, this is just an example. I'm not an adulterer. I'm just using it as, a, as an example. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, adultery is right. We, you should, Everybody should do it. It's cool to do. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I know that it's wrong, and I'm not going to sit here and try to impose on nobody else and make them think what I think. Just because I feel like I, I just because I like doing it, it's fun to me, I'm not going to sit there and make somebody else do it. Because now you're placing a stumbling block in your brother way to where they stumble and fall in within themselves. But anyway, I'm going to play one last video. And this right here is going to let you know that people are confused. It's confusion. Everything that's going on, everything that everybody's doing is confusion. Why? Because they 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 grew up in a, tra a, a traumatic household. They had experiences that happened that they it confused them and messed their mind up to where they don't understand and now they feel like they feel this way. Let's get it. Woman and Miles identifies as a trans man. I was, can I have those shoes? In some sense, it upsets me that I can't physically carry a child, but my husband can. I think Miles is handsome in, in this state, and he's he's glowing, and... It's a very masculine glow, though. It's a very masculine glow. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you look at that video, you see where this man had actually... So that means transgender would be that you keep your balls and everything, and but you still look at yourself as a woman, and then the woman gets rid of her titties and all that stuff and still have a vagina but look at herself as a man. Now, if you look at that, why are y'all confused? Y'all are, are attracted to each other. You were still a male and female. Like, it's just that one... You, I mean, you, you, you did the surgery to be a man and the other one did the surgery to be a woman. Y'all still male and female to where you got this woman pregnant. That's why it's not a man that's pregnant. That's a woman. But anyway, I'm not making this video to condemn any of y'all, to say I hate y'all. I love y'all.
It's just that it's not a high time, man, that we get understanding. And stop, please, stop trying to impose your thoughts on everyone else. Because, like, this, this TikTok platform, you got people that's going on this platform and seeing it. And they, they feeling as though this is right. You got people, and, and, and uh, the 104.5, whatever, uh, uh, the Breakfast Club, you got a millions of ears that listen to this show. So while y'all stop trying to pressure us and stop trying to make us feel as though we need to be that way. Because it's not wrong to be a, a, a heterosexual male or female. It's not wrong to be straight. It's right. That's nature. And the scripture lets us know that that's wrong, that it's, it's error and confusion to do otherwise. But anyway, I'm about to I'm gonna keep coming with y'all, man. And, and whatever I see, if y'all got anything y'all want me to talk about, hit me up at Carolina David911 at gmail.com. Peace.